Hey Virgos, welcome back, welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next love reading, <laughs> your next drama reading, I should call it. Hope everybody's doing well. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my channel. And as always, this is a general reading, so take it in stride, you guys, okay? We're here to have fun, no matter what. Um, personal reading link is below this video in the description box. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want a personal reading, personal, go ahead and click that link and that'll take you to my booking site. All right, you guys, let's take a look. See what the energy is playing out for you. Let me breathe. I know sometimes I sound like Darth Vader in this microphone. Luke, I am your, so your father. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. All right. Let's see here. Give me a second. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. How are you? All right. Let's see. Okay. Ready, Virgo? Are you ready? Bam. Healthy choices. Beautiful. Healthy, ch Making healthy choices in love and in life. Hey, you guys. Um, I just uploaded uh, yesterday the Virgo reading on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. Uh, you might want to go over and uh, check that out. Self-love, self-care, being happier. And you have love. Okay. Unconditional love for self, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. All right. We're liking this. Oh, the sword in the rose. Somebody's coming in to claim you. <laughs> You're getting some clarity. Truth uh, is going to be revealed to you by somebody. Solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Very nice. Some of you are making healthier choices when it comes to choosing lovers. That's mostly what I feel is going on here. Now, let me think. Let me think. Let me think here. This is good. Um, you know what? Okay. Let me just start with some romance angels. I feel like you are... Um, I'm feeling like there's a love situation coming in here for you. Like a new love. <laughs> Why? Because you've released your ex. You're releasing your ex. Okay? The time has come, Virgo. Clear out that energy. This is what I feel like is... All right. I know where this is going. Okay. You're calling in your soulmate. This is it. This is it. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. Oh, Virgo. You know, it's like they say, out with the old, in with the new. So I guess that's happening for you guys. Remember, this is not just a channel for Virgo Sun. It's also Virgo Moon, Venus, Rising. Um, all right, let me see here. You're definitely making choices, healthier choices um, in your life. Even like as far as what you're eating, the food you're putting in your mouth, the people you're associating with. Um, being in abundance, choosing things that are good for your soul, which is great. And you're choosing um, love. You're choosing love. Sword in the Rose, yeah. I just feel like there's some clarity. You're getting clarity in, as far as love goes now in your life. But a lot of you, I feel like the fog is lifting with the Release Your Ex card. You know? Hmm. Look how this person here is like holding some kind of a letter. I don't know if it's connected to some kind of a letter maybe that somebody sent you um, or that you sent to somebody else. But this looks like despair. I don't know. It's I, I just get a sense it's like done. One and done. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what the, what is going on here. What other messages you have. Let me get my Darth Vader breathing on. <sighs> All right, let me see. All right, you've got justice. 
doing something right this time is what I feel is going on here. You're doing something right. You're being fair with yourself. I don't feel like you're being so harsh and critical um, of yourself. Now, let me just put this out there. I feel like as you're releasing your ex, you're also calling in this soulmate. You could be receiving a call from somebody. Now, for some, this could be Libra uh, or somebody who works in the legal system. I just felt like I needed to, or that's the person you're letting go of, of course. Let me see. Let me just ask, releasing the ex, what is the energy of this here? Hmm. Huh. Yeah. So, Eight of Cups in the reverse. So, Virgo, I mean, it's all right. This is an energy of, like, fully learning from your past. Um, this can be an energy of, like, still, you're learning from the past, but some of you... All right, I'm just going to throw this out there because I'm getting some different messages. Some of you have released this person energetically but you may still be present with them in other words like the time has come to clear your energy so some of you may not have this fully cleared out just yet okay that's all i'm trying to say i feel like you're you're on a good path at this time in your life like you are you're on a good path in your life. Um, you're, you're getting there. You're, you're definitely getting there. You're trying to be fair with yourself and do the right thing. Yeah, look, Ten of Swords. So there's definitely this energy of surrendering, letting something go, you know, moving forward in your life. Some of you are getting some Reiki healing or acupuncture. Um, You might have had like a really bad breakup with somebody that was really painful, okay? Um, and I feel like you're getting into this recovery phase and you're moving on, you're just having a new start, trying to look at the situation fairly and just, you know, it could be a legal, there might, might have been some legal problems connected to somebody um, that you're releasing or letting go of and just kind of getting into this place of like healing yourself. Okay, look, you also have the Ten of Wands, so you're, so I feel like you're, you're right at the end, you know, of this whole thing, you know, like you're, I see as you're releasing, you're calling in your soulmate, you're, you're making those, you're setting your intentions, you're asking the universe to bring you someone who's good for you. You know, and when I say good for you, I don't necessarily mean for all of you, the past person was bad. It just might have been like something that, you know, wasn't really going to work out or didn't really work out. Uh, who knows? For some, it was just a lack of compatibility. There might have been great chemistry, but, you know, things just didn't move forward. So with the Ten of Wands energy, I feel like you're some of you are just getting to, you're either getting into this phase or you already are where you're just finally saying no, saying yes to your freedom, you know, um, getting in this, coming to this place of like, just taking a break, you know, um, cause you need some rest. Something was very exhausting and it just basically, it feels like it was painful. Something was painful that you had to deal with. There might've been some legal issues and connection that put a damper on a love relationship. Look at you, four of swords. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're getting into like renewal, rest and retreat and recovery. So that's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at this calling in your soulmate because I feel like you're you're really on a good path now here in your life. Well, at least with the reading, the way I see it. And I want to put a disclaimer out there. Um, I think it was Joanne K made uh, said and Joanne if you're listening I did reply to you um, you guys when I do my readings um, Joanne said that she thinks that the reading was about me and uh, in the comment in yesterday's video you guys my readings are nothing to do with me they never have been and they never will be my personal life is strictly my own. I channel messages here and I don't know exactly who I'm talking to. Um, but I, you have to know, 
that uh, and for those of you who have a question like that please don't make assumptions i'm a very private person and what i share with people i'm very select and specific i certainly would never have anything in my own personal life come out in a tower reading for the whole world to see okay i truly do channel the messages so if that's a if that's something that anybody here thinks that that's what's going on i'm gonna have to ask you to keep it moving <laughs> off my channel because that is a, a very should never make assumptions about people okay so let's take a look at calling in your soulmate that's actually the first time anybody has ever said that to me and it was a little bit uh i guess kind of i was taken aback a little bit all right let me see i felt so called out y'all i felt so called out don't call me out on my channel or you're gonna get blocked all right all right so you have temperance in reverse here so some of you are calling in a very unstable sagittarius very someone's very disruptive chaos someone who's in the excess um but some of you might be in that position be careful you're not calling in your soulmate too soon if you haven't let this energy dissipate yet okay if you're still healing it's all right to keep healing and i'm talking to the guys too um you don't have to just you know uh, get yourselves in a position where you're bringing on more uh, toxic energy you're, you're making better choices take your time okay because some of you could be calling somebody in when you're really not ready just yet maybe just keep it phone conversation or something okay um some of you might find yourselves like talking to somebody and then just like oh my gosh is this person is this person going to be the same as the last i'm going to go through this whole thing again if you're in that position uh, it just feels like maybe just kind of be careful because some of you with a type of breakup, you might be feeling a little bit out of control or just unsettled in a lot of ways. Okay, so I feel like that's a very strong message for someone specific here. Let me see. Yeah, this actually, I feel like it's you. I don't feel like you're calling somebody in who is crazy <laughs> or you know the king of the king of um pentacles in reverse is mm, someone who's very jealous doesn't really have any follow-through is quite greedy is someone who's just very unstable okay and maybe spends too much money um this person it like for some of you I'm not saying that that's you, but I'm saying there could be a financial dependence for somebody here, I don't know who, um, where you're not ready. Um, this can be an energy of stubbornness as well. And I know I'm now I'm calling you out. I know some of you are, that's not you and you're ready for new love. Um, I think the message here is be careful what you wish for. Be careful, make sure what you're asking the universe for, you're not being non-specific. You need to be very specific with the with the universe when you're putting that out there into the or into the ether. If you just say, just all I'm looking for is somebody who is six foot seven, they play basketball, and <laughs> I don't know, they wear Nike sneakers trainers whatever that's all i need that's all i'm looking for and sometimes you know hey yeah okay we'll bring that to you and then this person comes in and then they turn out to be like a rotten egg in the soul you know be very specific with what you're asking for because some of you could be calling in your soulmate and just saying you know i want this person to dress well and i want them to be you know you're you're not being you're being too vague and then they're just like okay well let's see we have about 100 people to choose from and it seems like virgo doesn't need to narrow it down so we're just gonna find everybody that dress well and uh, maybe somebody who i don't know whatever other secondary thing you have you know and then <laughs> i feel like i'm just going on and on around like just keep, 
it just be more specific okay so i do feel like that's more of also your energy here where you're not you want somebody but you're not exactly sure yet um you're praying and asking but that's what the visual visualization part is um, to really visualize in your mind's eye and also maybe write it down what exactly it is that you're looking for in a person and i'm not talking about you know i'm talking about character traits you know character traits that kind of thing not so much the aesthetic which there's nothing wrong with that but you want to look more at somebody's character traits because if somebody's brushing their hair every other week i'm sure that's not going to cause you trauma you want to look at somebody who maybe if they're not brushing their hair enough but they're a really good person then you're not going to walk away with trauma but if they brush in their hair every day and they're abusive <laughs> you know what i mean it's the character traits that you need to be looking at let me see I feel like I just went on like a little diatribe and giving you this advice, but I think you already know this. All right. Tell me more about this calling in their soulmate. There you go. Two of cups. You want someone who is in alignment with you. And I feel like you're going to meet somebody. It could be this starts off as a friendship that um, turns into a deep love is how I feel. This is somebody who meets you halfway in all areas spiritually um they're healthy too you want that match okay this, so this is a soulmate this is my soulmate card so i feel like you have a match coming in here it could be a leo it could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces let's see yes see spirit talks to me and talks to you now look you've got a love offer this is what i'm saying it's 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 a type of connection that it's like you two can just sit across from each other um and really have good talks like you're on the same page you're in alignment you see that because the, it's a two so there's like duality right there's um there's opposite for some it's opposites attract but there's reflection there's a bit of diversity perhaps with this person showing up but it's also about choices and i feel like there's going to be an opportunity here um where somebody comes in now i feel like it's more I, i'm not feeling like oh somebody's going to propose I, it feels more like there's an admiration, a strong admiration for each other with the Knight of Cups, okay? Um, I'm just picturing like this big, I don't know, flowers. I'm picturing flowers or a bouquet of some sort. Maybe you're going to offer it or you're going to receive it. Look at this, the Six of Pentacles. So there's like so much reciprocity and give and take. This is something that I feel like is part of your visualizations that you want someone who's on the same page with you that you're evenly matched despite the diversity um that there's admiration between two people that there's a giving and, and a taking there's a there's a beautiful exchange there's support and there's help there's hospitality you know um some of you might have been in a type of relationship where it was like very one-sided or selfish you know um maybe one person felt they were indebted to the other you know there could have been some codependency just a lot of struggling energy and i feel like this is the opposite of all of that right so you've got the three of wands here so i feel like this person might be coming from across land or water like at a distance all right this is this could be travel this could be um you might start talking on the phone to somebody you might be doing that now but some of you i see that happening there's phone calls there's communication happening um this is somebody who when you call when they call you you call them right back within reasonable time and when they 
uh, and when and when you call them they call you right back like there's a there's a beautiful exchange there's nothing I'm seeing here I mean there can be an energy of like waiting for some but it's it's like wanting to wait to hear back from somebody that's how I feel here so I like it I really like your reading thus far because I feel like you're really you're taking your time you're figuring out what your healthy choices are which direction you need to go what you want you're really getting into self-love and self-care and you're finding yourself going forward you'll find yourself to be more happy i feel like love is truly coming in here for you you know you may even get some revelation within the self clarity within the self about where where you want to go in your life when it comes to love what you need to do Okay, yeah, a lot of contemplation, a lot of like, so I feel like there's no rushing into anything here, right? Because some of you are aware that you have this energy here, this these reversals. Some of you are aware that, you know, yeah, I definitely want to meet somebody, but I'm really just kind of starting out. I'm just beginning to make healthier choices in my life, or I have, I'm starting over and I'm a little sideways, from maybe a lot of imbalance in the past even if that wasn't in a relationship it, for some it could have just been uh people that had a traumatic effect on you in your life like in the past so i just get a sense that you are stopping here i see you stopping and considering anybody new that comes into your life you're like all right well do i want to invest more or let me take a look at this. Like you're really getting into your analytical Virgo side, which, you know, is good because you're being discerning. Of course, don't stay there too much because then you're never going to have fun. You'll be too busy overthinking shit, right? Don't go down the rabbit hole. Just put a cap on your, um, your rabbit hole thinking. <laughs> Just don't but don't be too specific with the things you want virgo i feel like because then you'll stagnate if you you're like oh my gosh okay wait no I, I got a laundry list and and if you have a laundry list don't tell the person what your laundry list is oh my gosh just have some good idea something that are deal breakers that's all in going forward all right, let's see. Wow, you're definitely getting some clarity. So we have Cancer, Piscean energy here, and Libra, um, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so the moon in reverse, uh, I love that card when it's in the reverse especially because this means like the truth is being revealed. Um, some of you are getting messages in your dreams. Really important for you to... Um, write your dreams down the next day i just heard they're saying to write them down um because that's also part of the clarity that's your subconscious but i also feel like you're getting clarity or you will be getting clarity like no more hidden emotions or deception or you know things that you just that were unseen that you couldn't prove i feel like you're healing a lot of you are healing from um a past thing like you're coming out of this you're not fully out of it but you're coming you're coming you're just getting clarity yeah it could have been for some of you about a father or a mother um the way they raised you um or your relationship with them for others it could have been an ex or someone who was like um an, the other co the other parent to your children um or some authority figure someone that was just in a position like a leadership position no matter what it is i mean it, it just doesn't matter what it is some of you could have been involved um, and I will have to say this, this could be somebody from your past, um, that you're getting clarity on about, and that's why you're maybe not rushing just yet into anything, because the person in your past, you may have thought that they were coming in, in the positive aspects of the emperor or empress, but the clarity might be coming in like you're trying to discern this person might have been really immature controlling you know um or just had a big ass ego you know <laughs> you know 
um, or I should say big nasty ego, or this person might have been, you know, in the reverse that you didn't realize, you know, that they were abusive or it was an unhealthy relationship or toxic and, and you were just constantly trying to see clarity about that, but you couldn't get it. Also, for some of you, are you, um, you're also getting into this place where now you're comparing, contemplating, you're thinking about this, maybe somebody that you could be meeting or thinking about what you want. Um, you want someone who's independent, you know, um, and that they have the resources and the tools, someone who's selfless, um, careful with your heart and your emotions and your feelings, um, someone who's prepared, someone who is not, you know, gonna leave you high and dry, someone who's going to show up for you as you would for them. So a lot of you are just getting clarity on what it is that you want and you need. And I definitely see some type of a meeting happening soon. Okay, and it, it, they're telling me February meeting up with somebody in February. Now, I have a disclaimer here. Some of you, I'm just going to put this out there, okay? Don't get mad. Some of you are clearing some negative energy to pave the way for healthier decisions, choices, skills in a current relationship, releasing the negative energy from the past. Some of you are forgiving someone so that you can wipe the slate clean and have a new start, but you're not quite ready to have that new start with that person from before, some of you, okay? So we have several different messages going on here. Um, I feel like whether you're still in a connection that you're not feeling is gonna work, some of you may not be able to leave that connection, or I don't know, maybe you're in separate rooms, I don't know. But the main focus right now is how can I how can I make the best of this situation and make the best of myself and learning how to deal with someone or learning how to maybe try to repair. Um, some of you might have gotten in your posi in a position in a relationship where you, you might have had um, there might have been infidelity. For some of you, that could have come on your side. And remember, I'm not just talking to you guys in the chat. I mean, I've got a lot of, like, thousands of viewers watching this, so they might not even be in the chat. Some of you might have cheated or did something in the past or had an emotional affair and feel justified. You know, you you some of you feel like it was right and just, that that might have been something that you needed at the time. And... There might have been some type of betrayal. You might have caused that, okay? So, you know, I'm not calling anybody out here. I am just trying to reach everyone and say that there's clarity coming. Um, some of you don't want to leave a relationship. Some of you want to heal a relationship. And I feel like releasing negative energy in a past relationship is really the only way to go about repairing one um, because there has to be forgiveness and also hoping, going back into something and hoping somebody would forgive you. But there's a bit of an imbalance here still happening within your heart, okay? You may just meet somebody... Um, a soulmate can be a friend in February who could be helping you help to build you back up. All right. But this is some, but I see a very supportive energy. Um, and it, it could be, like I said, someone who takes a leadership role in your life. Now, could it be your past person? It could be. It really just depends on who you are and how this reading's resonating for you. All right, Leo energy here, the sun, positive vibes, good day, sunshine. There's success and joy heading your way here in the, in the near future. After, sometime after February, remember I said I was seeing flowers or I actually was seeing a bouquet of roses. So there's something around Valentine's Day that could be coming up. I feel like there's a healing energy here. Whether it's two people or infidelity in the relationship, no matter what side it came from or both sides at the same time, um, it feels like um, somebody's taken the sword here, the sword and the rose, and, and they're cutting out all the, um, the rotten parts of this relationship, like a surgeon, you know, just kind of 
scooping it all out, getting rid of it out, cleansing it, cleaning it, right? Making the cleaning the wounds and making things healthy uh, again, or just in general in yourself, right? All right. Now I feel like I want to get some other messages here. All right. I'm going to take some from my Moon Pie Tarot deck. What other messages did Virgo need to know? Oh, waiting for an answer. Okay. Some of you are in this position right now where you're waiting to hear back from somebody. Um, but an answer. So there may have been a question that was asked. Um, there might have been a question about choosing, um, a question about travel plans. Okay. Oh, some of you are having a lot of fear and anxiety right now. Somebody is here. Somebody is. Somebody could be waiting for an answer from you or waiting to hear back from you. They, I don't know who it is exactly, but uh, for some, it could be a fire sign um, or it could be an air sign. But there's definitely an energy here of like fear, stress. Is somebody going to hear back from another person? Um, how long is this waiting going to happen? It could be you. I mean, this can be like a contemplation. It could be a waiting card as well as this. All right. Um, let me see. Okay. So the illusion card, it actually showed up in reverse. So, and then I turned it over, but I'm going to speak on both sides. That's the moon in the reverse. Okay. Seeking, waiting for clarity having a lot of fear the moon card in the upright is a card of fear and deception so there's an element of doubt happening here okay it could be like illusion not understanding something not having enough information and taking caution because of the fear and anxiety um because of the waiting waiting to get an answer back on something um but the moon in the upright i'm sorry the moon in the reverse clarity is going to come the truth is going to come here right for whatever this is that you or somebody else whomever that somebody is waiting to hear back from let me see what else is going on i know the waiting it's it's like it's the hardest part <laughs> Q Tom Petty. Um, okay. Well, new love beginnings showed up in the reverse. All right. Somebody's waiting to hear back about a mother, something about a mother or their children or a pet. I just heard, but the new love beginnings. So emperor and empress. The new love beginnings right now are, um, there could be waiting to hear back about fertility things, issues, or reproductive stuff. Um, it's, I feel like there's not enough information and, and the new, this, this information to come in is being delayed right now. Okay. You are going to get clarity, but I feel like you need to trust and have faith. Because I feel like things are going to come to you. It's just delayed right now. Because I'm not really sure exactly why. Um, wow, all these reversals. Because it can't happen. It's not time. Manifestation in the reverse. Okay? All No matter what you do, all the tools you have to try to, to dig and dig and dig and dig, you're not going to get the information yet. It's not time. Okay. You're just wasting your resources and your energy. It will not fulfill you. If you just keep digging, you have to be patient and not you or somebody else. And just not worry about the fear and anxiety here. Try to just put it aside and distract. Okay. Somebody needs to put it aside and distract themselves. Um, somebody could be waiting to hear back from you. They don't know what's going on. You know, uh, they may want to have a new love beginning here with you, but you, um, you know, it can't happen just yet. It's just divine timing and it's not time for that. Okay. All right. So 
Hmm. Your advice here is to withstand, withstand a certain situation. Okay. I feel like you need some courage at this time. You need to gain your strength or to like recharge. All right. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but the strength, you know, this is strength. This is all about self-love and unconditional love. And you have that there with unhealthy change or with healthy choices. Okay. So some of you just might be getting a fitness trainer and you're <laughs> trying to, but it's not time yet. Maybe you don't have the money or, you know, you might be strength training or you might be thinking about strength training, but maybe you can't right now for some reason, you know, or doing some bodybuilding. Um, let me see. Okay. So. I feel like. Hmm. Somebody is completely caught up in their feelings for you. Somebody is completely caught up in their feelings for you and they cannot do anything about it right now. Okay. They're just, I just heard that Usher song caught up. <laughs> um, this, somebody just wants peace after some kind of trouble. I don't know exactly what that trouble was, but yeah, they're very much caught up in their, oh, trying to maintain their strength. They have all this fear about waiting, having to wait to hear back from you. They don't know if you're going to reach back out to them. Um, I'm not seeing that there's any anger here. I just see a lot of fear. Yeah, because plans are not evolving at this time. That's what I feel like is happening. You know, um, things are, everything is delayed right now. Okay. Maybe some travel plan, uh, travel problems, I feel like is happening here. Some setbacks. It feels like this person, I don't know who that is. It could be a friend or a family member. Uh, it's just, I, and, and it might not be anybody right now. It could show up you know, in a week or two or in February. So, wow, all these reversals. Okay, reevaluating. Somebody here is like, hmm, they want to, somebody, it could be you, somebody else. When I say somebody, somebody wants to like switch their job or change their career. Okay. Um, but they're putting that on hold right now. <gasps> Somebody's putting it on hold until they get an answer. Because I feel that they can't make a change about a career until they hear back from another person. So it could have something to do with relocation, could have something to do with a um, particular industry that someone's in. Hmm. Interesting. These are my most favorite cards. You know why? Because they're mine. Look. I had them for sale. I, I, I keep forgetting to go and reissue them out for sale. Okay. So somebody is receiving a material gift that's coming in. Um, this might be um, money. No, it is money. It could be. So, yeah, there is some kind of new job that's been offered that's what I just they just said there's a new job or promotion or some type of new income or something where somebody needs to reevaluate their career but they can't do it yet until they get this they hear back from somebody mm, deeply loving oh somebody is so insecure right now wow feeling really um, clingy very insecure virgos is, is do you have are you is somebody waiting to hear from you deeply loving male okay um this could be a friend a lover uh, a family member deeply loving male is the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces 
but in reverse this person there, there's something possibly to do with an addiction with this person or um, just very insecure what the heck is going on here all right all right so they just said that this person's insecurity is gonna they're gonna they're not gonna wait anymore they're gonna reach out um, even though they it's not the right time I feel like their insecurities are gonna make them reach out they know they need to wait but they're getting very antsy and um, their very their fear and their anxiety is causing them to make a move to 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 not wait any longer you know when you're sitting in traffic and you start getting fearful and anxious like you can't get off the road and you're going to be in the traffic for hours and you're almost out of gas you start panicking a little bit you got to do something that's what the energy is here okay cancer especially this could be a oh cancer a lustful fiery spirit in the reverse oh my gosh this is someone who's like got excess uh, sex problems here um, for some of you, this is somebody who is like, they have to have you. They have to have you, you know. Um, Knight of Wands in the reverse, definitely. This person is like feeling very chaotic. Um, it could be sex, but it also could be just like very impulsive. And impu they become very impulsive, like I said. You know, almost out of gas, stuck in traffic. Got to do something. Yeah. So you're going to, you're definitely... You might have put somebody on on hold and they're not going to, they're not waiting anymore. They're not going to wait. Wow, look, spying and deception. So there's definitely an energy here. Uh, somebody's trying to get information at this time um, from somewhere. Okay, are they spying on you? It could be. But um, there's, it, it's kind of like, uh, I, f I feel like, the fear and anxiety because they're waiting they think something's going on there's paranoia they just gave me some paranoia hmm they're just giving me also like weakness or someone who's got there might be legal or tax issues related to this in connection to you or another person um, hmm. somebody's seeking the truth who is this and what the hell? You guys are going to have to leave me comments about that because I don't know what the heck is going on here fully. Let me get some messages of love for you. You know what? No, we're going to wait. I'm going to pull that in a minute. I want to get your, um, your names and your dates real quick. All right, for Virgo. These could be three separate messages here, so just take what resonates. Um, all right, Virgo. Names and dates. Okay. Hmm. I just heard Jerry. And... Uh, somebody either you met in 2020 or this person is in their 20s all right and i'm also picking up um somebody's very responsible I'm picking up very responsible um, um somebody could be in a wheelchair or i just heard um oh Peony, Peony, Peony. Okay. Oh. Um. Hmm. Are you doing something with a jar right now? Are you doing something with a jar? J A R. Or is your car a jar? Your door a jar? Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Somebody calls people, <laughs> I hate to say this, but you know, cause I'm so prim and proper and just clean and pure. Somebody calls somebody a jerk off. <laughs> I, just, I just had to say that somebody either has said that to somebody else or they just use that phrase, like wherever they come from the J-O. Okay. Or there's somebody who's doing that. I just got finished doing that. I don't know. I'm not going down that road. <laughs> ah, all right. So we also have September 17th. Okay. And funny. 67. 67. Okay. Um, now, somebody here might be in um, yoga pants, black yoga pants. Oh, beautiful. Do you have like a crystal globe in your garden somewhere? In your garden? Oh, I'm also seeing... Um, oh, they just gave me that song. They said, tell them La Isla Bonita. La Isla Bonita. Okay. And then, of course... Oh, OJ. I just said OJ. Maybe you're drinking orange juice. Oh, there's the word OJ. It's not Orenthal. Could be OJ. Are you listening to the OJs? Maybe you like the OJs or you just heard that like in a movie or something. Gladiola. Gladiolas, they said. I don't know who I'm challenging or channeling here. Somebody lives in like a blue Victorian house or is passing by one or is looking at one in a magazine. It's like a light blue, powder blue, matte looking, powder blue, like Victorian home kind of. It's got like white um, pillars on a porch, um, white railing on a deck. Okay. Uh, September 12th. All right. Um, somewhere near where you live, you've got a road that looks like a Y. Okay. So it goes like one direction this way, one direction that way. Okay. It's like a, some kind of a fork, like a two-prong fork on a road. There's no side streets. It's just straight, and then it prongs off in two different directions. I don't know who that's for. Um, we have the initial or the, the letter C. Um, I just heard Coco. It just gave me Coco. Coco. And I heard chalet. Hmm. Okay. And then they're just giving me that story um, of the ugly duckling. They just said the ugly duckling. Hold on a sec. Um, all right. Now this phrase. Vida? Vida Nova? Nova. It's just, it's like, okay. All right. So I'm getting also the initials. Could be a name. CG. CG. Or some of you might be smoking a cigarette. As you're listening to this, uh, CG, um, and then the number 10. Okay. Somebody has a boat in the name of the boat. There's the name is written on the boat. Um, but I'm seeing the name 
seeing like Vita Nova. I don't know what the hell that means. Vita Nova. Um, somebody was born in 1966. And then they're also saying 1964 or it's somewhere between there. 64, 65 or 66. Hmm. Okay. That's strange. Um, <laughs> immediately. I don't know. You guys, I'm telling you when I channel these messages, it's like, I just saw two. All right. Why does stuff like that come up? I must be dealing with like people of uh, my generation, older generation. I just saw two members of ZZ Top. Were there two or were there three? I saw two Z's, two ZZ Top. I, I don't even know if those guys are still around. I just saw the long beard, the glasses, I think the hats, you know? Okay, this is strange, ZZ Top. Um, I see there's like, Two men also. Yeah, it's two men. Um, but I see those ZZ Top people where they were young, right? They were younger. Like they had the beards initially, but then I'm also picking up very young energy. I, I, feel, I don't know, my channeling ZZ Top. Were these guys, um, um, were they in a relationship, those two guys? Or were they married? I don't know. Uh, maybe this is just two men, uh, you and your lover. I see you both there. Um, actually making plans uh, to be together. Two men, okay? Um, and I'm also picking up the 14th, September 14th. And the 26th, wait, that's Libra. Okay, whatever. Um, and your cat is meowing right now? Somebody has a... Um, a Shetland Sheepdog, a Sheltie. Somebody has a Sheltie, like a miniature, a mini dog. Looks like a, um, uh, like a Lassie dog, but it's miniature, a Sheltie, okay. Oh, and they just said, I just, they told me to tell you to go. They said go. So I don't know where you're going. <laughs> or maybe you're just at the stoplight. <laughs> Somebody's about to come up behind you and beep the, beep the horn. They're, they're saying, go. You, the light's green, go. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> Get off your phone. <laughs> I don't know. Go. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm seeing a white horse. White house. Not a white horse. Maybe a white horse. Um, but, I'm, but when I'm really focusing in here now is the front door um is got a black trim around it i see a black uh front maybe it's a screen door it's a front door it feels like it's like black and blue but i see black trim around a front door um something happened in october of 2021 I feel like there was a brother and a sister and their kids came together. Oh shoot, I just popped my nail off, that that hurt. All right, whatever. I feel like there was a brother and a sister that came together with their, with their two kids and went out somewhere together in October of 2021. Or it was a, it was a brother, his kids and the sister or the sister, her kids and the brother or their two kids, okay. Last one, last but not least. Um, okay, something very significant happened in September of 2019 also. Or somebody's could be somebody's birthday as well 919 i don't know significant maybe it was your your birthday they're not really saying um and that's weird i just got this message as somebody watching a show where there's like two uh knights and they're jousting or there's like um sword you know jousting two knights on a horse fighting one another 
you could have two people fighting for your attention or maybe you're just watching something on TV. All right, let's get your charms. I feel like you're gonna get a charm. Ooh, <laughs> a crab with lipstick. Okay, kissy crab. That's cancer energy. We've got pink lips here, okay? Some of you might be getting a kiss from a cancer. I think we called cancer out here. Um, soft on the inside, hard candy shell on the outside. Okay? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but I feel like someone wants to get their pinchers on you and they're not going to let go. Somebody wants to get their pinchers on you and kiss, 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 kiss you. Soft, sweet little kisses. Um, okay, some of you might be getting or sending a kiss lips text to somebody or you got one why is this crab here all right <laughs> so they just get they just show me the crab but walking sideways um so i don't know if that's somebody you're connected with but uh, somebody's dizzy they're very dizzy that's what i'm hearing like they're having a hard time walking straight. Um, okay. All right. We got a big giant snowflake. Um, some of you still have your. All right. Okay. Somebody's. There's a big snowstorm coming up. I'm feeling around February 6th. Okay. I know if you live in Australia, um, if you're somewhere in like southern california i get it you're not getting snow you don't need to say oh, it's not us but hey guess what they got snow in mexico the other day so you know the climate's changing so i don't know what's going on but for those of you who are in snow prone areas around february 6th massive giant flake snowstorm coming giant flakes or you're dealing with someone who's very flaky it could be just very simple like that maybe you're the flake Virgo just kidding okay one more I want something I haven't had <laughs> oh my gosh it's a big sun all right listen I'm gonna take back what I said I don't care some of the some of you who are in sunny prone warm areas you're getting you're getting a big snowstorm and it's going to be like an anomaly. It's like people are like the, I think the other day there was like a tornado in, in Fort My Myers, Florida. Um, there's a strange weather phenomenon going on. And we're in an El Nino, El Nina pattern. So the weather is really cr like freaky. It's weird. Um, what should be isn't. And what isn't is. And it's strange. So I just... I feel like that's a really strong message. Um, you could also be something here about someone who runs hot and cold. Someone runs hot and cold. It might be like a cancer person or someone you're that's showing interest in you at this time, and they're being very kissy and they're very being very emotional, and then they and then they put on that hard shell, and they like I said, run hot and cold, and so it's like they're all loving, and then they're not. And then they are, and then they're not. It's weird. It's kind of like, could be this for some of you. I know it's not cancer here, but it could be. It could be somebody that you're talking to or that you're manifesting at this time. But you're picking up some weird energy with this person. All right, you guys. I'm gonna end your reading there. Um, so I hope that that was informative and fun. Um, and yeah, that's really it. So I will see you guys <laughs> tomorrow hopefully like i said i'm kind of playing the readings by ear a little bit you know because uh, i was very consistent i'm not trying to be inconsistent but i don't want to get too rote because i'm a creator and i channel and i feel like if i get too rote in my readings then it's just going to be like i don't know diluted too much so i may take like a day is like do an interval day on day off thing just so I can change the energy a little bit 
um, or pick up when I need to pick up. But if I'm feeling it, yeah, I'll definitely be on. I was feeling yesterday and I'm feeling it today. All right, you guys. So also, if you um, are going to join my channel, um, one of the perks of joining my channel here is you get to... Um, you get access to my private Facebook group, okay? But you have to be a member. You have to join House of Virgo membership. It's $9.99 a month. Now, I do offer, if you want to join my private Facebook group and not be a channel member here, I do offer a subscription status to join my private Facebook group, okay? Either way, it's, it's $9.99. The only people who... Um, have access are the people that are the moderators here on my channel because they're going to be moderating the Facebook group as well as participating. So I just want to put that out there because I think some of you were asking yesterday or you couldn't log into to get in to join my channel and you have to go on your desktop. You have to switch over to desktop in order to join. Um, trust me, it's a YouTube thing. I don't know what's going on with it, but they won't let me do it either. Um, not that I'm trying to join my channel, but I'm saying I can't see it. I can't access it. Um, so yeah, those are the updates. That's the news. Thanks for being here and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow, if not the day after. Okay. So love you guys. Take care. Enjoy the snow. Bye.